It's a seedless. I don't need this. Catch me up on Venus. You seem to be confused, but did you live? Times are tough, but please remember this is not the end. In a happy place, I'm in a happy place. So oh, oh. learn to elevate. That's when we realize in time, life lessons are being learned through your pride. My mama always said to me. Could keep on living with no sins I'm expecting in my chest Nobody, nobody, nobody ever told me Everything, everything, everything would be nothing Looking through my window Gotta stop that tomorrow If no one sees and no one knows I have no place to be But what I'm hearing is what I see Get stuck in your head Just be here now It's all you can do The past no longer serves you Shawty thinking I'll get famous Yeah She hit me on my line My Zanotti and her guys But she doing it so shameless Yeah She thinking I'll get famous Take it on Does it always seem to be the ones who complain at times like these? They're the ones who waste the day.
melanin Drips from your skin It comes from within I swear your soul's made of gold And I'm freaking being free This is such an incredible night. I mean, all of you are freaking badass and inspiring. And this is just, this is just making my day. It's making my whole freaking week. Um, so yeah, I, my name's Ellie. Hi, I started Big Leap Collective at Ruth Asawa. Um, and it's since grown pretty much into kind of a little business. So just a little brief about us. So the Big Leap Collective, um, we're a San Francisco-based art and music collective dedicated to giving independent self-started artists and musicians of all genres um, a platform to showcase and promote their work in pop-up settings through social media outreach and performance opportunities. And um, I basically developed this collective out of my love for the Bay and for everything about it. And since quarantine has began, have started to move that toward more of an independent international audience or a non-United States audience. And it's been, it's been really, really awesome. I'm really, really happy about it. Um, I just want to share like some of our past accomplishments and kind of what we're working on right now. So we had our first and only <laughs> in real life event uh, two Februarys ago. Yeah called The Night Market, which was at Hunt and Gather, featuring local artists, including Jada, um, Jayella, and um, vendors and designers and musicians. Another one that I started recently was Big Zine in Volume 1. This is our first independent publication um, featuring 28 visual artists, organizations like nonprofits and community activism platforms and independent bands from all over the world. And of course, you just saw from that video, Big Feb Fest, what, what, which was, I think, by far one of our greatest achievements uh, as an organization. So this was the first day long music festival uh, that I organized that was, I wanted to make like the hardly strictly for exclusively independent artists. Um, and some of which since then have gotten signed, which is pretty cool. And so that's from the music community here in the USA and also bands from, you know, the East Coast here in the USA to Chile, South Africa and Norway. And um, we raised over $1,000 for all these independent artists, which is pretty amazing, just through crowdfunding efforts. And I got a lot of great press for it, which I was not really expecting, including a really awesome SFGate article that um, came, kind of came out of the blue. And that was really exciting. So shout out to Dan Gentile, who wrote about it. Um, but yeah, as you could see, folks really went ham with their sets and they just had so much fun with it. And it really just made such a fun day. And I'm planning on continuing this annually, both as a hybrid event, so kind of virtual, so I can still include folks that are not from the United States who wanna perform and um, hear live from the Bay Area. So some fun things we're working on now. One of them is The Green Room, which is our new monthly show on Twitch every fourth Thursday at 5.30. So that's coming up next week where we feature sets from new four independent artists from all over the world. So it's a virtual kind of lounge cocktail hour, um, evening music, TV show kind of setting. And we also like to emphasize donating to five different humanitarian organizations and mutual aid each month. And if audience members donate money, they get the chance to spin the wheel and win Big Leap prizes, art and merch, which is really fun. So uh, also working on some more independent zines and publications. So Little Book Big Review in is the most recent one. This is a new seasonal zine that I'm working on, which is like a little bite-sized little guy <laughs> that features interviews of new music by independent artists from all over. And also working on a second volume of Big Zine in, which is our magazine. 
Um, I'm also working on Big Leap Radio, which is a monthly playlist. We just debuted it last week, I want to say, by independent artists that we stream a couple of days a week on our Twitch every month. Um, so I'm also a DJ and I'm on the operations board at KXSF Community Radio here. And so I was inspired from that to create another platform to give back to indie artists who so often kind of get the short end of the stick when it comes to getting monet like compensation, I guess. So I set up a donation-based royalty system um, and to I've done a lot of research on music licensing. So uh, bands who get paid can just get basically get paid for having their song on the radio. Uh, and this is to challenge major streaming services that pay their artists like a fraction of a fraction of a cent per stream, which is just ridiculous. So it's been really great. So last time we streamed a playlist, each artist walked away with $1.50 per stream, which is pretty awesome. Um, because usually things like Spotify and Apple Music only pay their artists like 0.2% of a cent for um, streams, which is uh, pretty awesome. So I'm excited about that. And um, a couple of other things just wrapping up. So something I've grown to be more passionate about after a kind of recent personal situation that happened that was tied to the music scene and after the fallout from um, a horrible sexual assault culture linked to a California label here around last July is to start kind of a volunteer community lookout crew to help protect women, non-binary, queer and trans and youth concert goers who are often more prone to sexual assault and coercion. Um, as shows start to open up again, I really just kind of want to emphasize that just because we're reopening doesn't mean that things can stay the same when it comes to that. And unfortunately, that's such a toxic culture that comes with such a wonderful community here. And so um, I just kind of want to add that and kind of start that at the community and then hopefully extend it to venues here. So that said, as we work hard to make things safer in our music and art communities when it comes to that, I'm also working on a couple of live shows for the summer that are COVID safe and setting up a residency at a local nonprofit outdoor venue here for independent local and touring bands and for community art shows because it's usually hard to start uh, to know where to begin as an independent artist, especially if you're trying to get more of a following that's outside of where you're from. So I, I wanna do that. And that's pretty much it. I mean, overall, I started this because I just love the scene here and I love everything independent, local. I just think it's so inspiring. And this community has done so much for me just by keeping the scene alive. And so I just wanna give back to that. Um, so yeah, if you wanna find out how to support, <laughs> let me know. Um, I'm so grateful to be here. And if you're an artist and of any medium really, and you need help booking events or getting your music on the radio, or participating in inclusive community art shows and concerts, then just reach out to me because I'd love to be a mentor to y'all. So thank you, really, really appreciate y'all's 